So we have a well and we have lots of iron in our water and a result is 20 years of sprinklers spraying on the house. We get lots of rust on all the bricks at all these different locations. So the, the way to remove that is to use oxalic acid. Um, you can get two pounds of it on Amazon for 15 bucks. I'll put a link down in the description. Now the mixture you're gonna wanna do is eight ounces per gallon. So I have about a gallon of water in here and I'm gonna put about eight ounces of uh, the oxalic acid. It's a powder form. And since this is... Uh... Okay, so this is one of the worst areas of rust on the house. Everything in this area, time to move to the next one. So on top of the oxalic acid, which I said you can get two pounds for 15 bucks on Amazon, um, you might also want to use a sprayer, a chemical sprayer. This is about 20 bucks on Amazon. You don't need it though. You will need a brush. Uh, these are five bucks, you can get them anywhere. And just a bucket that you fill up with water. And again, eight ounces of oxalic acid powder to one gallon of water. It doesn't have to be accurate. I kind of eyeballed it. It does not come off immediately. You will not see the rust dissolve away. And in the bucket, you should see tons of soapy looking bubbles after you've mixed it up. On to the next area. So I just got done. I actually went around the house twice. I did every area twice. And I probably have eight or nine areas about this big, probably bigger than this around the house. And I still didn't use a gallon. I still probably have a quarter of a gallon left. So if you're gonna do one or two little areas on your house, you don't need a whole lot. You know, maybe like a cup of water. And I'm, I'm like sloshing this on and I still didn't use an entire gallon of uh, the mixture. So. If you're doing a small area, you don't need a lot. So I'm gonna finish up this last area. Again, this is the second coat of everything. Uh, let it dry for, I don't know, an hour. Come back and see how it looks. Again, here's what I have left. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, just some oxalic acid, 15 bucks, a brush, scrub it on. It does leave a white powder, as you can see here. I'm gonna brush that off, and I think it'll look really good. So, uh, some things to note, this would work a lot better if it was on siding, or metal siding, or plastic siding. I think it would clean up a lot better. With this brick, all that rust is kind of in all the crevices. You really have to get it in. So I might have to come back and do a broader second coat later on. Well, it's the next day, and I wanted to do a quick update. Um, you can see the area that's dried now, and it has kind of a very white, powdery finish to it. 
I think I might need to get a power washer and possibly clean it. But uh, it definitely removed a lot of the rust. The problem is you can see the areas that I missed. So you can see right over here is where I washed and right over here is where I didn't. So I have to do a much better job. Here it's even more obvious. You can see I didn't do by the gutters and that's still rusty, but the areas I did wash are nice and white. So I have to get a power washer off and clean that off. And here's another area that I'm talking about. You can definitely see the area that I washed is whiter than the other brick. So the rust is definitely gone there. However, you can see I couldn't get behind the electrical box and that rust still remains. So make sure when you're doing this to get all, do a wide spread and a wide wash so it kind of feathers it out so you don't get this white to rust area. So I'm gonna to have to come back and kind of do a quick uh, coverage of the whole area, not just the area with the rust. I filled up the bucket, not as much this time, and I'm just gonna dump a little bit more uh, powder in there and just go and kind of feather all these other areas so it kind of blends in. Try to get in areas like that. You can see here where I wiped, but it, it didn't get all the way around. Same here. So here's another good example where I did down here, but you can see it's a different, uh, there was more rust up above that I didn't get. So it looks great right here, but now I have to kind of feather that higher area out and do a little more over here too. You can see areas that I missed. So just going back for a second time, getting everything. And when I get up to a top where it, it ends, I'm just kind of feathering it out so it's a nice gradual change and not that abrupt line. So for a quick, uh, you know, one hour's worth of work and 15, 20 bucks, it did a really good job of removing all the rust. So let me know what you think. Thanks. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.